Hey, what's up everyone? And thanks for tuning in to this edition of Playing Catch Up where myself, Tamara Brown, and my other co-host, Callie Wing, tell you everything you need to know about what's happening in South Florida sports. Let's get started with the Miami Marlins who unfortunately lost last night 11 to one because former Miami All-Star Marcel Azuna had a five RBI night and the Atlanta Braves as a whole had five home runs last night to take an 11-1 win and clinch the NL East title for the third consecutive year. The Marlins and the Braves play again tonight at 7:10 p.m. where the Marlins are looking to hold on to their second place in the NL East and clinch their postseason berth for the first time in 16 years. There's also another Miami team playing tonight. The Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics have game four of the Eastern Conference Finals, where we're hoping to see the Miami Heat get back on track and take a three to one lead. But as you know, in the last game, the Celtics were able to get their first win of this series, coming off a pretty bad game too, where they had a few words in the locker room and a team meeting. And it seems like whatever happened in that meeting turned things around for the Celtics in game two. We're hoping to see Jimmy Butler and Drogic also show up in this game for the Heat. They were not as productive as they have been in previous games in the playoffs, especially Drogic, who has been quite the show, show to see in the playoffs thus far. Tyler Hero and Bam were extremely productive, combining for almost 50 points in game three. We're hoping to see a, a complete total team effort here in game four, especially a hot start would be great as you know we've seen this team come back from a many of double digit deficits going along in this playoff so far and the rally came up short in game three. So we're hoping to see um, you know, a fast start from this Heat team in the beginning of the game and not a rally in the second half of the game. Though it's been really entertaining and exciting to watch, it is extremely draining. And as Jimmy Butler mentioned, we have to stop digging ourselves out of this hole every single game. So we're hoping to see a hot start from the Heat tonight in game four and hopefully take a 3-1 lead. Comment below with your thoughts on game four. would love to hear who you think is going to come out on top tonight and why. And the fun does not stop there. Tomorrow night, we have Thursday night football. And no, this time it's not the Miami Hurricanes. It's the Miami Dolphins. They will travel to place the Jacks they will travel to play the Jacksonville Jaguars tomorrow night. Kickoff is set for 8.20 p.m. Eastern time. Be sure to tune in to watch the Miami Dolphins hopefully get their first win of the season. The Jaguars are also coming off a loss against Tennessee on Sunday. It was a close three-point loss for them. So both teams are looking to claw it out for a win this Thursday night. The Dolphins will be without cornerback Byron Jones with a groin injury. He's been ruled out. Safety Clayton Fedulum was doubtful with a pectoral injury. The Jaguars will be without center Brandon Leonard and kicker Josh Lambeau and also wide receiver DJ Chark Jr. has a chest injury and is questionable for the game. I know all of you are hoping the Dolphins defense will have more success this weekend, especially since Jacksonville has such a young quarterback. He's only been there for two years. And then also the Dolphins offense. We're hoping to see more productivity on the offense, especially in the running game, who in the last two games is a total of 186 yards. So on both sides of the ball, we're hoping to see better success from the Dolphins team as they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars tomorrow night. And that's it for this episode of Playing Catch Up. Be sure to tune in to Kylie Wang on Friday as she will be getting you guys all caught up on South Florida sports. And I will see you again on Monday.